Hey, I just wanted to jump on here, congratulate childhood diseases, you know, the same ones that used to kill one in five babies and one in two children before puberty, with the amazing comeback that they're about to make in Florida. And look, I'm not going to sit here and argue with anti-vaxxers for the same reason I'm not going to argue with flat earthers. I'm not a mental health professional with training on oppositional defiance disorder, and they're so ignorant about the basic science of vaccines that explain how they work is like trying to explain the it's free real estate meme to an alien whose flying saucer just landed on your roof. While we're on the verge of vaccines against cancer, they're trying to make polio great again, all because during COVID they had nothing better to do but sit at home, watch YouTube and TikTok, and stew about how everyone was conspiring against them. Because you see... For once in their lives, we ask these rotten, spoiled, grown children to care about someone other than themselves for like five minutes, tops, and actually meant it. And they will never, ever, ever forgive us for this. This is why they're doing what they're doing with Secretary Nurgle in charge of public health. They believe that if you die of a preventable disease, then you deserve it. They have their supplements and protein shakes, and so they think they're immune to entropy itself. And if you ask them for just the tiniest bit of basic human empathy, or the equivalent of a sixth grade understanding of how the immune system works, then you're basically committing a war crime. No, seriously, they want Nuremberg-style trials for doctors who administer vaccines and scientists who create them. So we can sit here and pretend that this is just a matter of them not understanding the science or the statistics. But it's not. They just really want scapegoats for their fear of mortality. And the very idea of thinking about anyone else is as pleasant to them as the desert sun at high noon is to a vampire. And so they cheer what Florida is doing. Not only are they getting a pat on the back by someone willing to sacrifice them for political power, but they don't even have to pretend to be part of a civilized society anymore. Because they had to do that during COVID, and <laughs> they're not doing that again, ever.